everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for a face shave today, looking forward to this one. It's um, struggled with a bit of razor burn, a rash, or a reaction to the soap or the blade or something. I'm not quite sure what's went on the past few shaves. I've been using the Wunderbar. The, the shave itself feels smooth, feels close, it doesn't feel aggressive, it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything differently. So I'm just going to go back sort of to basics, not basics, but back to what I know and what I know works just for the time being. I'll probably grow it out for a few days. I'll hit it with a Wunderbar, different blade, and keep everything else what I've used before that I know works. But I'm going to be using the Murgress today with a Kai blade. Right, the soap. I sent this one off to Ken Lee over in the States. 1912, classic 24, and I couldn't live without it. I was... When I sent it and Ken got it and he tried it and he put it with the Creed Aventus, I thought, oh shit, I wish I still had that. So I plugged out again and I've got another tub and it smells superb. It really does. I'm going to be pairing it today with a fine splash, which isn't a match perfectly for it, but very, very close. And Ken says this is very Creed Aventus like. It just smells beautiful. Wolf Whiskers brush again. Purple Haze, 25mm Black Wolf Knot. There is not a better synthetic knot on the market, in my opinion. I've tried quite a few now, and this is by far the best. So let's get a load going. And I would say that this knot outperforms pretty much every natural hair fibre brush that I've used, boar or badger. I haven't tried horse hair, it might be the best thing since sliced bread, but it doesn't get as good reviews as as badger does a bow. I must say, I do prefer, in all honesty, I prefer my bow brush, my Samoa Gunners Club, over any of the badger brushes that I'd used. Although, the one that Oivy Chapel has sent me, the Red Dirt Custom from Leo Frio, it's actually a very nice brush. I was quite surprised with it. It's got quite a soft, but very dense and great backbone. That's, I believe it's a silver tip, two band silver tip. Right, that is well caked. Oh, Scent strength out of tubs only like a four. When you lather this up, it gets up to about a five. It's never a super strong scent, but it's a beautiful scent. Very masculine, lovely, lovely cologne scent. It's my mum and dad's last night tonight. So, just want to have a nice little shave. I'll be taking them to the airport at three o'clock in the morning tomorrow. It is. 20 past 8 just now, so they'll be leaving in sort of 7 hours. I just wanted to get a quick little shave done. So I'm looking respectable. <laughs> respectable for the tears. Oh, I love the scent of this. I absolutely love it. You know, Club Cola is still my favourite Wickham scent. I do have Palmer Violet now, which smells superb. It actually smells like Palmer Violet. Which, for those of you that don't know what they are, it's a very small, hard candy. And it, it tastes a bit like perfume. <laughs> it smells a bit like perfume. Which is probably why it translates to soap quite well. I just like to work my lather a little bit more when it's a little bit drier. I probably overloaded the brush once again. But who's complaining? You can never have too much soap. Superb, look at that. Brilliant. 
brush as well, Lori. Is that a little hair coming out? Oh, it is. Look at that, another one. I've only had a few hairs come out of this knot. Similar to Kenley, I had quite a few to begin with, and then it sort of stopped. You're going to get your brush hair fall out every now and then. Using cold water, as I do, you don't lose quite as many hairs, whether it be natural or synthetic. Mergress, setting three, brand new Kai blade. That feels a little bit tuggy. I'm not 100% sure whether I've used this blade in this razor, actually, now that I think on it. Bloody spot there. Pick it while I'm at it. Just continuing on with this, it is still a bit tuggy. I don't know whether. Oh yeah, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit surprised if I'm honest. I haven't had a single problem with the Kai blade in any other razor. It makes me wonder whether I've actually tried it in this razor yet for a face shave. Yes. But. Mum just looking for a charger. It's just a spot that I picked, as you saw. It's definitely tuggy. And this to me is why, this sort of explains why you've got to try more than one blade. I know Kai blades are great because I've tried to I've had three or four actually. This might just be a dodgy one in the batch. I'm not looking forward to it on my lip if I'm honest. Huh. I don't know what happened there with that. Oh, I'll tell you what it is. I've got one side. This side's very smooth. And this side, this is rough as a badger's ass. It's not uncomfortable to the point that I can't shave with it, it's just it is a little bit slightly uncomfortable. I'm going to empty that out because it's full of hair. Splash that right in my eyes there. Lather number
Superb. As you can see, Superb has returned. Right, setting two now, I've just dialed it down just when I finished that last pass. Across the grain there. That to me was very, very smooth. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's happened to the blade. I really don't. Maybe taking it out to setting two is better for that blade on this razor. I really don't know. But this is way more comfortable now. And it was on that first pass, a lot more comfortable. Up in my neck. <laughs> Back a second. Oh, Jesus. Getting old. Well, even though the blade's a little bit rough on one side, it's not rough now, it was for that first pass. It's very smooth now, I don't know whether just knocking that notch down to setting two. Is what did it? I really don't know. It's giving me a beautiful shave, I'm not getting any irritation. As I was with the Bundabar. What it does mean is I'm going to have to break out those soaps again. The Holy Black isn't my kind of scent, but I did say it, it gave me a rash and I wasn't happy with it. It might not have been the, the show. The show. It may have, in fairness, been the blade. I think when I did that shave, I think I might have used the Treat Platinum as well. The same blade that I used when I used the Great Blishes on my head. I got a reaction on both of them. I didn't get a reaction the first time I used it, which was a it was either a Gillette Silver Blue or I think it was a Gillette Silver Blue that I used. Lovely come soap, absolutely love it. I cannot wait to use my other scents, Magnum and Le Bleu, Palma Violet, Scottish Heather. Really enjoying this shave. I've been struggling the past few, as you've seen. I'm not giving up on the razor because I don't think it might. I think it might be the blade. But then again, I've used the blade before for a different reason, didn't it? A reaction. I'm just sort of keeping faith because that first shave that I got from the Wunderbar on my head and face was spotless. There was no irritation, nothing at all. And just while I'm doing these across the, across the green passes, when I get to my lips, I go straight across my lips. I never feel like I'm going to cut myself when I do it, but what I do find is it trims all that hair that sits there that pisses me off. I used to spend in a tour, not a, tour, a long time in the beginning with my double edged razor trying to get that little section spotless. And I no longer have that issue at all. It, it just comes away beautifully when I come across the green twice. I generally don't need a fourth pass. 
or a, or a pickup path because I don't I don't go for BBS. I just go for a damn fine shave, which I can tell you right now I'm having. That first pass was a bit. I was contemplating almost pulling the blade and loading up another, but I'm glad I stuck with it. I don't know whether I've just taken the very rip, ripper sharp edge off it, I don't know. But it's super comfortable now. Yeah, that's a uh, sublime shave. Other than that spot which I just found as I was going. Yeah, little bastard. I cannot argue with that at all. It's just super. I'm just going to, what time are we on? What time are we on? 10 minutes, I think I'm probably 20 minutes. I'm just going to lather up. Just for that scent. The scent's beautiful. Such a nice refined scent, but it's very complex. Definitely a scent for you, your big interviews, and and definitely a scent for me for going out with the wife because it's just gorgeous. And the soap, the soap is superb, superb. I'm going to let that sit on my face I'm going to sort everything out here guys that are into wet shaving, a lot of you guys will just sort of maybe have one product, one brush, one one razor and you just leave it at the side. Some people might not even rinse it all down and wash it all down. Every time I have a shave my brush gets cleaned out completely and dried out, my razor comes apart gets cleaned out and dried out. It's, um, it's just part of my routine now. much more like it. As you can see on my neck, I've still got a little, there's a little bit of redness. It was from previous, I've not re-irritated nothing there. It feels superb. Oh. Right, Humphreys, which is unscented. Good splash of that. Good old crispy bacon. Yeah, there's no, no burn or sting from that at all, which is good. The flavour's not, but the witch hazel's good. So, let's have, I'm just going to do a little rundown. I just want to rinse my soap out. I'm taking my time with this one now, so it was meant to be a really quick shave, but I've enjoyed it that much. Why? Why? Oh, what a scent. Now, I, I, have been, I, I am aware now from Ken Lee over in the States. Ken's shaving and BSing that this is a very close ringer for a Creed Aventus, which as you guys know costs a fortune. I'll probably never have a bottle of it, but I will buy copies and clones as best I can. Wickham 1912, Classic 24. For those of you out there that don't know, there's actually 24 
iterations of the soap before he actually nailed it, before he got what he wanted. So uh, he obviously puts a lot of time down into getting his soaps right, and his soap scents are superb. Superb. Uh, the razor it was, the Mergress, my little favourite. I love this little razor, it's absolutely beautiful. And I've got a brand new Kai blade in there, which was a little bit rough, a little bit tugging the first path. But from then on in, as smooth as you like. I don't know what happened in between that. I think maybe dropping it down to setting two has made that difference. So I might try it next time. I might even try it on a higher setting, just to see what it feels like. I'll probably keep that blade going, because these last quite a few shaves, these ones. Let's see where we go. The brush, as you've seen several times, is the Wolf Whiskers Purple Haze, made by Peter Wolf. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Actually, see it quite nicely there with that light on it. It is beautiful. 25 mil fan black knot wolf, black wolf knot, and it's super soft. It is like a, I can't describe how soft it is. It's like cotton wool, that soft on the tips. Then we moved on to Humphreys, unscented, and I'm going to finish off now with Shave What's Cool Fix before I smash my face with a gorgeous splash of fine. That's probably too much. Yes. Now this product, Shave Works of Cool Fix, is actually directed and geared towards women for shaving the legs and armpits and things like that. And face if you're a hairy woman. But I have got absolutely no issues using it because it's great. It really does a job. And I've had quite a few ingrown hairs probably over the last month or so. Ever since I used the cartridge razor, I've had a few coming through. I've managed to get rid of them all. I've been using this now for the last four shaves and I've had no further issues with ingrown hairs. I've got a spot there, but that's an actual spot. So, Right, I think that's pretty much dried in. It sure is. Time for a good old squirt of fine platinum. This stuff smells incredible. All that's in it if you don't know, it's alcohol, water, fragrance and menthol and it smells amazing. It really does. I've got the squirty bottle top on here. When I bought this bottle it came with that on it, which is ideal because I do like spray bottles. I'm not a, a splash is nice, but I'm a bit of bit wimpy when it comes to spraying stuff. I like to spray shit on. I could spray it everywhere then rather than having it wipe my wet hands all over my shirts and things to get the scent on there. So. I haven't had any sting there. I know these are really highly alcohol concentrate. The scent's amazing, but then you get the coolness from the menthol. It really is lovely, lovely after sheer splash. And I'm definitely going to be buying some more. I'm going to get some snake bite to go with my snake bite soap. And yeah, yeah, here it goes. That's the menthol coming now. And when it dies down, this scent lasts quite a long time, in my opinion. I get about three or four hours out of it. I've used it a couple of times off camera when I've just been going out and about. Squirt it on and I can still smell it on my wrist or on my clothes, maybe three or four hours after. Sometimes longer, it seems to be one of those scents once you spray it on, you sort of forget about it. And then the wife or some of the kids will come up, give you a hug and say you smell nice, and then you actually realise it's still there. And that's quite a while after you spray it on, but oh, it smells good, I'll tell you what. Well guys, thanks very much for tuning in. I have taken up way too much of your time in this shave if you've watched the full thing. If you haven't watched the full thing and you've jumped right to the end, welcome to the end. And you guys stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive. I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.